What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy, everybody's buddy, Car Craftsman, making a video today on some butt welding clamps. Uh, I got this 1968 K10 into the shop and, and it came in with the back cut out in such a way where this was still attached to the bed here. And uh, it looked like somebody with a little bit of experience in body work gave it their all and uh, well, their inexperience is going to get me paid now. Uh, they had actually cut, here we go, cut straight through this back brace here uh, in order to replace a part of the floor there, I guess. I'm not really sure what happened, but this thing came to me like this, and I'm happy it got to me because I like to, to help things like this. Now, uh, I've already cut out a couple parts of the floor here and uh, braced it underneath. And I have a section of this floor that I'm about to show you that I need to weld up, and that's what we're going to use the butt welding clamps for. Uh, I'm also going to show you uh, probably how I finished putting this bed in, but today's video is about the butt welding clamps, and you're going to see how I use them right now. And here's how this repair patch came to me. It had this section cut out that I could only imagine they were going to uh, replace inside of the truck with. Uh, but, you know, that's, that's really not the way to do things. So we have this piece that's been cut out, and I'm thankful it's been cut out uh, fairly well because we are about to put that right back in there weld the patch back into the original panel and then put it into the truck the right way or my way anyway so what i got these clamps for today is perfectly aligning my sheet metal panels for welding and i think they're going to do just the trick here now you get a couple of them in this kit and this is what it looks like from the side here uh this shim spacer goes in the sheet metal here. Let's line this up. And what that's going to do is work to the other side of the block and allow you to maintain that gap distance in your piece of work while you're welding it's going to clamp and hold this straight while you're welding now a couple of reasons why you need something like this is when you are butt welding like this you need just a little bit of a gap to make a good weld now i'm not a welder please do not quote me on that if you know better leave a description in the comments and i'll shout you out in another video uh, you're going to see I'm not a welder here too. But I do know if you are not clamping down your workpiece correctly, you are going to get all kinds of warpage. And that's the last thing I need for this brand new panel to get warped. Do all kinds of body work to this area and just have this thing come out worse than it already is. So I'm going to go ahead and put these butt clamps on here, cut you back on, and then weld this panel up. We got the power make here. <laughs> the Lincoln Electric 210. I bought this thing because I'm not a welder and I thought it would make me a good welder. We're going to find out uh, how well I do here. I am a little bit low here though on gas. I'm, uh, I'm hoping I'm going to have enough to make the video, but she's looking grim. All right, let's do this. As with most things here at the shop, I probably take way too much time mocking stuff up, but I always like to know what exactly to expect before I really get into something uh, like this because I really want as little body filler on here as possible. Now, you can see I've already installed the clamps, and you're going to see here how exactly they go. Now, to use these clamps, you do need access to the other side of the panel. You could see how those square blocks go through the square hole and clamp down and hold that other sheet metal at just the right level for you to get a good butt weld. Not only does it hold it in place, but it keeps 
this consistent space in between both your work surfaces so when you go to weld you just lay it down so after an enlightening session with the booty gods here i uh, came up with a great idea to weld it from behind so i don't have to grind all those welds away to make a good surface let us all praise the Buddha gods and their enlightening nature. Got these areas prepped up the best I can. Going to be putting that back together with the clamps. And I think I'm going to be starting my welds from up here and working my way out. So I'm going to align these clamps uh, accordingly. All right, I got my project loaded up the way I think I like it. And you can really see how those clamps work now from the top side and the bottom side. They keep a good space in between both your projects that you're trying to join together. And as long as your patch fits in there nicely, which this one does, you should have no problem using these types of clamps. Let's get to some, let's start some welding. made a couple initial tacks here just trying to get this metal together like I said I'm gonna work from the center work my way out got these clamps lined in such a way where I think it's really going to uh, make the best use of their clamping effort there and yeah it's looking pretty good power MIG set up 120 with 16 volts and it's doing what I want to do there I don't really want to record the welding because I don't want to mess up my camera. I don't know if that will or not, but uh, I'll cut you back on when I get a couple more in there. All right, guys, now you're about to see why it's so important to actually have these things in place to maintain a good gap between your two surfaces. I'm about to try to take this one out right here and... See how hard that is to come out now? And that's all because of the welding and the heat applied there. Now that area is going to need just a little bit of hammering to make flat again. So I don't have to do too much of anything to do body work later. This one's going to be tough. This one's in there a lot. <laughs> that really keeps that gap, and that gap is, is necessary for good penetration and a good weld. That, that weld makes me uh, feel good. And once again, here's my progress. I rearranged these clamps down here to uh, align some of the areas that I really wasn't too happy with. I just used a regular hammer and dolly technique for the rest of them. And yeah, it looks like I got some pretty decent penetration. Now, I know my welds ain't all that, but uh, I'm not a welder. Those ones look all right there, but uh, yeah, it's gonna hold though. It's gonna hold. That's what I ended up with, and uh, yeah, it's melting the metal pretty good. Uh, there's a lot going on here, so I got a hammer and dolly a lot of that back in the place. Uh, make a couple just holding welds, and then smooth that back out. I'll bring it back in a second. Alright everyone, there it is, my final results. If there's anything I know about welding, you definitely have to make sure everything is clamped down uh, so it doesn't move and you need those things in there to make sure those gaps are going to stay true. There's one thing I did mess up on when I had the clamp down here at the end. I didn't recheck it after I put a couple clamps on and it kind of made the, the piece just a little bit bowed. But, uh... That's going to hold pretty damn good. Those welds look like they got an, eh, enough penetration anyway. And I think that's going to hold up pretty well. Uh, I am going to have to do a little body filler on the top, but that's all right. That's a whole lot better than what he was working with. So, yeah, you know the deal, guys.
If you like the video, like the video. Subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching. As always, Car Craftsman out.